Alright, this is a brief tutorial on how to make your Windows XP disk work. I'm going to open up Disk Utility, <clears throat> and under that name, there might be a Session 1 or a Windows XP Professional or Windows XP Home or whatever version of it you have. Select that. Mine happens to be called WinLight. It's weird, I know. Mine's different. Then click New Image, and after that, do right here Image Format. This is very important. It has to be DVD, CD, Master. Select that, save it however you want. I'm going to call it XP and save. Now I'm not going to save it. I already have just to make this tutorial go along much quicker. So after that is done, drag out the icon right there that I just did. Drag that out and go to the directory to where you saved to where you saved the disk image. Right click or control click get info. Now under general information right here make sure lock locked is checked. Close that up. Now drag this image back into disk utility right there and select the image and click burn it will eject the windows disk and prompt you to put in another disk right there and i would suggest using a cd minus r but you can use a, a dvd or a cd minus rw after that click burn when it's done it will eject it or mount it to the hard drive or mount it to the desktop and there you go. It's bootable, should work just fine. Alright, thank you.